Legendary rock star Bob Seger is back. He's out with his first studio album in eight years. His songs sound like they were written for every working man and woman in America. But there was a time when it seemed his music may not reach the masses. Before Bob Seger's music made it to the movies, against the wind, we were running against the wind, and television. The Detroit native struggled for more than a decade to reach a national audience. He worked briefly at a car factory after high school in the 1960s. and played as many as 250 shows a year across the country. Seeker's big break came in 1976 with the back-to-back -back releases of Live Bullet and Night Moves. Both albums went platinum the same day. His songs about the working class were instrumental in shaping the sound of Heartland Rock. He would go on to sell 50 million albums and be inducted into the Rock and Roll and Songwriters Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. There I go, turn the page. Now, 41 years after writing his anthem about a musician's life on the road, Seeger will tour once again. She's a teacher, to support his first studio album in eight years, Ride Out, the highest debut of his already historic career. Bob Seeger joins us now. Welcome. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Charlie. So this is the highest mm -hmm. Billboard chart debut yeah. for you ever. First after... week. Yeah. Right. It was great. Mm -hmm. That's that's that was really impressive. I think the highest we got before that was four or five with the albums. Of course, they sold sustain. They sustained the sales though. And what does this yeah. say to you? Well, it's just great to be able to do it. You know, because I love doing it, and it's and. Consequently, the success allows me to keep doing it, and that's just really Do what you love. Yeah, I'm really grateful. It's been described as your best work in two decades, a fresh and vital look. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that about yourself, too? Well, I know I love what I do, and, and I took a lot of time on this one. Uh -huh. And we were also touring, so I, I got kind of the... I, I figured out which songs would work really well on stage and which songs which can, could just be anything. Like you were mentioning, You Take Me In. Mm -hmm. That's not really a great stage song. It's too intimate for a... No, You Take Me In is yeah. a, a love letter really to your wife. It is. I mean, yeah. just the lyrics alone of that. I, I listen, mm -hmm. it made the hair stand up. Oh, well, thank I'm in you. your universe, you are in mine. That's it's beautifully right. done. Did thank she know you. you were doing that? She did not. I kept it a secret for three years. <laughs> I wow. recorded it three years ago. And the, and the day the record came out, uh, the day we got a copy of it, of the CD, I gave it to her and she's playing it in the car. She's driving. <laughs> and she says, What's this? <laughs> it got to that song, which is, and, and I said, Well, this is for you. Mm -hmm. And so about halfway through, she goes for the glove box and the yeah, tissues. Was, and it was, Tell us about was your a writing nice process, moment. Bob. You, do you have a writing mm -hmm. spot? Do you have a writing process? Yeah, um, it, I, writing's so mysterious. I do it all different kinds of ways. Sometimes I'll start with a title, or, but most of the times lately, I'll start with music. And kind of try to feel what the lyric, what the music, the mood of the music is saying, and kind of tailor the lyric to that. And then, yeah, it's very long and arduous, but it's also the most challenging thing I do. So it's really the thing I look forward to the most. Mm -hmm. You're going on tour. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you haven't been on tour since what year, 2007? No, 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 no. We've been on tour a bunch of times mm -hmm. uh, since 2007. But you're, sorry, your most, Short tours. your most expensive, your extensive tour. Well, even relatively extensive. We, we started touring a lot in 2009 because uh, Face the Promise did really well as well. Uh, it was a platinum album. And, and uh, so now, yeah, we're just going out this time. Uh, we, it's going to be kind of fun. We have a fiddle player for the first time. And, wow. she, and she's really fiery and... <laughs> Uh, we're playing the garden here, I think, uh, yeah, the, the, what is it, the 19th, yeah, the 29th, yeah, 19th of December. Yeah. What do you think of Taylor Swift and this Spotify? 
I guess she did, did she go exclusive to Apple? I'm not sure if I know the whole story. Yeah. She just took her music off of Spotify. Well, I do know did. all my Nashville songwriting friends mm -hmm. aren't big fans of Spotify and streaming things, you know, to, to begin with because they don't get paid. But, you, but you took time off of your career to raise your kids. Did you not think, 10 years, I think, did mm -hmm. you not think you could do both at the same time? I didn't think I could do it well, no. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so you, you, at some point, um, you may be going to heaven and God says to you, uh, <laughs> what is it, Seeger, that you deserve for being here? What would you say? <laughs> Which song would you pick? Which song would I pick? Wow. Um, boy, that'd be a tough one. Uh, I, I guess the, the most like famous. Like a rock? But yeah, that's a good one. That's, yeah. that's a good, good one. one. Yeah. Sure. What's yeah. the story behind Like a Rock? I used to, I was a long distance runner. And I think that's where, uh, in high school, and I think that's where I get my tenacity, you know, I have uh, discipline, you know. But it ended up in a Chevy commercial, though, Bob. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, they loved it, and they called for it. And for a long time, I turned it down. But uh, in the final analysis, it, it really surprising. It lasted 10 or 12 years. But in the final analysis, uh, it, it created a lot of... Uh, of uh, it, it sold a lot of trucks. Yeah. Yeah. That was a truck commercial. <laughs> yeah. So that yeah, made me GM yeah. very happy, and it made all the the workers very yeah. happy. And we, yeah. the profits went way way up. And it God, it tested so high. You know, so I said, okay, so use it. It's a great song, Bob Seger, 50 Thank million you. albums. Congratulations Congrats. on this new one. Thank you. And Ride Out is on sale now. The concert tour begins Wednesday in where else? Michigan. <laughs> That's right.